St. Peter's Square was covered with pilgrims. Surrounding streets and even rooftops near the Vatican were full of people who came to witness history and see Benedict XVI's last Angelus. Many came to thank the Pope and also to say farewell. This group from Peru came dressed in traditional clothing. We came to ask for the Pope's blessings. We came all the way from Peru. We're very sad that the Pope is leaving. He greeted us, so we're sad that it will be the last time he'll do so. There was no shortage of flags, banners, applause and cheers. And some groups don't need an introduction. It's the first time I've been in a place like this, so seeing and hearing the Pope directly was a very moving experience. It was very exciting. His determination, courage and strength in uniting the Church even in sensitive issues that he's had to deal with. I think he's shown great leadership for the Catholic Church. Some came out of curiosity, others to thank the Pope for his eight-year pontificate. It was really nice to, um, to be here and be involved you know, and be part of history. It was sad in a way because of ill health, but then uh, having said that, um, uh, he has done a very good job and uh, I wish him well, yeah, in his retirement. It was great to feel his strength and this way every one of us can also strengthen him. It was a difficult decision, but as a church, it's time for us to feel renewed, to open a window of hope, which is what Benedict XVI has encouraged us to do. It was history in the making. It's estimated that over 200,000 people came to say thank you and farewell in Benedict XVI's Los Angeles.